You just wait till you see this book. Hey everyone, this is James from Growing Books. I have a very special and exciting unboxing video for you today. So basically, a while back I was contacted by Century Guild, which is a museum and publishing house in the US, specializing in 19th century aesthetics, most especially Art Nouveau. They sent me one of their in-house bound books, centered around the works of a Czech artist known by the name of Alphonse Mucha. And here it is. So this is Alphonse Mucha's Le Pater, which in Latin translates to the Father, and is an obvious religious reference to Christianity's God entity. His style is lavish, colorful, and sometimes wildly imaginative. So let's have a look at this book and see what it's all about. So to give the book's proper title, Le Pater, Alphonse Mucha's symbolist masterpiece and the lineage of mysticism is a reproduction of one of the artist's most important works. As Century Guild puts it, in 1899, Alphonse Mucha created a series of occult-themed artworks almost as a love letter to the end of the century and a message of hope to the future. The artworks are an exploration of the artist's spiritual epiphany, and Le Pater was considered by Musha himself to be his masterpiece. So the book is structured on the Christian religion, specifically the Lord's Prayer, the Pater Noster, in which the artist dedicates an image to each line for the prayer, guiding readers through an almost metaphysical experience through the mind of the artist. Given the subject matter of symbolisms, religious connotations, mysticisms, and reference to the occult, this work was both praised and criticized by contemporary critics. Besides the historical and cultural relevance of this work, the book is a work of art in itself. It's naturally in hardback, and the printing quality and reproduction of the paintings and photographs is simply spectacular. And as a side note, the artwork is very much reminiscent of elvish motifs, especially with the Lord of the Rings films having based the elves style on Art Nouveau, and this really shows in the paintings. And the artworks themselves are impressive, and they range from these almost illuminated medieval manuscript style to something very akin to Gustave Doré's famous Dante illustrations, for instance. Now, the book is edited by Thomas Negovan, who provides in-depth and insightful historical commentaries on the mystical symbolism at the time, introducing readers to the art movement taking place at the end of the 19th century. Included in this book are also photographs, reproductions of artworks and artifacts, along with Muga's sketches and theories. Le Pater is truly a comprehensive reading experience, which provides an almost omnipresent view of a period in history and centers around a specific artistic movement by perhaps a sideline or unknown artist who was indeed at the height of his powers in creating something quite beyond the literal and the physical. Thank you once again to Century Guild for sending me a copy of their beautiful book. Check out more details about the book and other publications from the links down below. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.